Hey legends, John Flippy here. We are going op shopping as we always do. Come with me, we'll try to find a bargain. And if not, we'll probably make fun of me. And I've been having a chocolate muffin, so that might be on my teeth. Yeah, it is. All right, got to fix that. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome to another video. Let's go op shopping. This is uh, one of the Solbos thrift shops that I've taken you to before, but uh, it's always a good bit of fun. And even if it isn't, you've still got to come along with me anyhow. Big thanks to everyone who has jumped behind the channel and giving it some support. And now I've got volume going way too high. Hang on. Some exciting news. We've now got uh, the channel membership available. So thank you guys for helping make that possible. I couldn't have done it without you. At the moment, I'm kind of striking out as I'm having a look around the shop. I'm gradually getting angrier and angrier. Not really, but it felt fun to say when I was doing my voiceover. I'm being, being really lazy today. I'm just using the uh, microphone that's on the laptop, but it sounds okay to me. So hopefully it will to you. There weren't many reference books. I have picked up some really good reference books at this place and uh, been able to make some good money out of them. I've shown you those books, so hopefully you've been paying attention. But I'm about to um, create a musical masterpiece for you. So bear with me and please enjoy uh, my beat making. <coughs> Here I am, wrecking a shop. You better call the cops. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a brand new release. Twenty odd bucks, including postage, but it is Stephen King in really good condition. I'm going to get it. Worst case, around if I decide not to sell it, I'll be able to give it to a friend or someone. Someone's going to enjoy this book. I've got it at home already. Well, I tell you what, she's going to be upset when she knows that Uncle Bloody Flip Flip was in the shop. She's missing out on some quality time here. That's cool. So, it's over 20 years old. They've shut it. Three bucks. Let's have a look. Look, I'm already aware that these are just listings, not sold comps, but there you go. Yeah, we'll grab that one. That, that'll turn around nicely. The box is in good condition. It would be even better if it wasn't still sitting in the boot of my car after several months. Honestly, sometimes I do. Do you guys have this problem? Like your death pole's out of control? Uh, mine is, but it's lots of fun, isn't it, going op shopping? I always check the ladies' shoes. The leather shoes tend to go well, as long as they're priced fairly. This place is generally fairly good until now. That's weird. They got eight bucks on those shoes. Normally this place is good for the shoes. I mean, they are in good condition. River soft. Mm. Look at me speaking as though, you know, I'm a professional shoe buyer. I do okay with shoes, not as well as I'd like to. There are good ways. What the hell am I talking about now? Sorry, I was busy watching my own video. Basically, shoes are good as long as they're in decent condition. The leather shoes do well. Make sure that you are checking for any rips, tears, or the heels coming off. I've caught, been caught out before doing that, getting too excited over the price now those sneakers on the right hand side we're about to have a lovely surprise when we actually check the price on these um as you guys know i do get my nose out of shape when things aren't right and uh, you're about to see why in five four three two and one what is that a joke tag
Hmm, I haven't heard of the brand. I'll look it up. Oh yeah, that's fair. I can get them with mud on them, or I can get them clean for the same price. Okay, well, that is a bit of a shock, considering this is a Salvo's Thrift, but the lady at the counter confirmed they're $50. Dirt and mud included. I haven't seen these sort before. Can you knock it off with the noise? I'm making a video. So seven. I'm gonna check. Not exactly the same, but close enough. I think I'll give these a miss. In fact, I did give them a miss. Okay, so I looked these up. They want 15 bucks for them, or as you can see on the comp. Get them for 20 bucks. Get them shipped here. Uh, they're the Adder Tough size 7. Men's tennis shoe, apparently. Like I said, I haven't seen them before. I like how they look. But 15 bucks. I'm still mind blown by these. She goes, they're probably brand new. And I said, with the mud on them? I know it sounds like I'm being a smart ass, but they could have sold them a lot faster. It just trips me out, guys. So these things are donated. The people who donate them want them sold. Uh, I think they're trash too. I like them though, they're cool. But I don't know if the camera's picking up, there's holes in them. They're only small, but they are only five bucks. Now, they're a good price for an oppo. They're in pretty good neat. Five bucks. You couldn't go wrong. I like them. They're neat. I don't want them, but I like them. Some of these are worth looking for, guys. Pyrex. Like that strengthened glass. That stuff's worth picking up if you see it. Don't discount the bric-a-brac. I'm not a fan of it. Like, I like it personally, but, um, yeah, it is one of those things. It's like... It's fiddly, it's easy to break. But then every now and then, hopefully this isn't much because I like it. Oh, these are two separate things. That's cute. Feels like it's ceramic or metal. That's cool as. Little cat statues. Cat stuff goes well. People who like cats love them. So never underestimate that stuff if you pick it up cheaply. It's always cool. Weird glass things, they do well as well. It looks like a salt shaker. In fact, I think it is a dollar. Something like that. Probably gets you about 10 to 12 bucks on the flip plus postage. Not my bag, but look out for it. That's the beauty of this, guys. You know, there is something for everyone, and eBay gives us that chance to cater to people's niches. Another thing, too, to look out for is handmade. You might look at something handmade and think, oh, that's crap. The thing is, though, nowadays, everything is so cheaply made that people are liking stuff that is handmade. So, and they'll pay good money for it. Like, you know, a pot that's mass-produced might be $3, but a handmade pot, you might be able to pick it up for... You know, a couple of hundred bucks. Or rather, you pick it up cheap and flip it out for that. Except for this. Don't get this. No, I'm sorry. Is there a maker's mark? Oh, God, someone did write their name on it. <laughs> but stuff, you know, someone made it. Oh, that's suggestive. Avon product, 1982. He or she's a little bit jaunty. Red hip. That's cute. I somehow think that the uh, lady at the counter is not a fan of my videos. She never smiles at me when I come in. Maybe she doesn't smile. I don't know. Crofton. Three bucks. Woolworths Essentials. I like the bowls though. And if you came over to my place now, you'd see them in the cupboard. I bought them all. <laughs> All right, guys, only two bits of treasure from there. And if you want a pair of $50 sneakers, they're still on the shelf. So I asked about these sneakers. Um, they got 50 bucks on them. And I was told they might be new. 
They might be. I'm scared. Let's go shopping. So normally at this joint I make a beeline over to the old books. They're located on the right hand side. But unfortunately I think they know that some of them are worth money now. So they're priced very fairly. But not for the little flippy flipper. Alright guys, I jumped from me walking through the shop. Just go over to the book area here and DVDs. It was a little bit empty today. Bad luck for me I guess. But uh, beggars can't be choosers. Um, the, they've got a fair few church books and stuff like that there and uh, they are always good to grab and possibly flip out people love buying Bibles it really I, I don't know you can get Bibles for free from a lot of churches but uh, they do so well um, stuff like that stuff like uh, Alcoholics Anonymous books um, Scientology my neck just cracked that was kind of weird I was rubbing the back of my neck as I'm talking to you now a bit too much information but uh, yeah, it, I just heard something go. All right, looking down here, a bit sparse, a little bit sparse, no good for me. Let's jump on over though, see if we can find something else while we're at it. Oh well, whatever the hell that was, obviously didn't pass my exacting standards, did it? Something I did realize, like these thrifting videos can be up to a month old, just so you guys know. Um, I try to film every time I go out, which is always fun. But uh, yeah, some of these videos are older. And I did realize as I was watching this, um, if you did look at one of my videos from a while ago, I'm gesturing in real life. I don't know why I'm talking with my hands. You can't see that. But um, basically, oh, Ali can. She's next to me. Uh, and Kenichi the cat. No, Kenichi just walked away. Kenichi's a cat. Um, I realized it was at this op shop. I grabbed the books out for you guys to see. Um, how I was flipping $23 into $320. The majority of the books were actually purchased from this op shop. So, you know, you can find treasure even when you don't expect it, particularly with books and records. You've just got to scan the hell out of them. For God's sake, can someone tell that kid to shut up? Always check out your shoes, guys. I'm I'm no expert in these by any stretch. I know the basics to hopefully get pairs that will sell. Always make sure you do check them out. Check out the mugs too. They always sell. Mug life. And I was about to find one here that I loved. Van life. If I was to get a van and go to every op shop in Queensland, do you guys think you'd watch? Let me know in the comments. Oh, yeah. Notice how I said that as though I was an art appraiser looking at something and I knew what it was. I've even turned it around for us to read, but I can't even read it looking at the video now, so I don't know if you can, but I held it there as though it meant something to us both. Hope you enjoyed it. Was That was not me, okay? Sometimes religious stuff does all right, so keep an eye out for it. Bangers. The big enough helper. Mama said I've been doing my best and listening to this video like a maniac, but those kids you could hear talking, one of them swore at one of their parents. I'm trying to find the audio, I'm pretty sure I've got it somewhere. Okay, maybe it wasn't fuck, but he did say about the friggin' teddy bear. Would have been lucky to be three years old. It was amazing. Good parenting. Well done, guys. Good job. Nothing here for me today. Do you need a hand, mate? Are you okay? Okay, good. I Sorry, I wasn't sure if you were bringing in or taking. God, I'm a nice guy. Seriously, just trying to help everyone put a smile on their face. That actually gave me a shock. I thought it was a person. Mannequins of people too. Get out of my way, slow coach. Geelong Flipper here. This is one of those places I do like going to. I don't find a lot of treasure at this op shop. However, the little bits and pieces that you do find are pretty cool. And they're more traditional. Like, there isn't like this big organisation. I'm sure they're just mainly earning money for the church and to do other bits and pieces with it there. I don't know. Maybe buy confectionery. 
I, I've really got no idea, but I don't mind this shop. It's always well laid out and the staff are very pleasant. I don't know if it's in this video, we'll find out soon. Um, but there's a satchel that I end up buying. I actually think it might be in this video. It all gets blurry. And if it's in this video that I find, yep, there's the satchel. It's a cat satchel. So much to my, um, well, shame, I still haven't listed it. But yeah, I'm there, I'm watching the videos, or the DVDs at the moment. Going to comp something. Still haven't picked up the satchel that's on the left-hand side. I'll do it before I leave, I promise. I might even show you. Chagrin. Good lordy, look at me finding a thing. And I'm hoeing and humming, but yeah, you know that Caterpillar brand? This is uh, like a laptop sort of thingy doobie. And I uh, felt rather clever, even though it had been right in front of me the whole time. It's five bucks. Well worth getting. I was happy with that little find, let me tell you. Now I'm going to put it over my shoulder as though I own it. No, I'm not. I'm going to hang it back up. I'm going to play with the thing. It's got five bucks on it. Yeah, it's got five bucks on it, mate. Good on you. I'm berating my uh, past self. I mean, that's... Yeah, that's okay. It doesn't matter. People still want it. You've just got to actually list it and make some money out of it. That's cool. Oh, that is cool. Good job, Tori. God, I'd subscribe to this channel. The Geelong Obvious Flipper. Yeah, that is super cool. Oh, I'm going to chalk that up in the wind column, that's for sure. I've never seen one of these before. A computer bag. I'll take that. All right, legends. First wind for the day. I've never seen this. They put a computer bag, but it's the Caterpillar brand. Um, tradies love them. It is very durable. Those metal fastenings. It's, it's cool as. I really like it. But I'm sure whoever buys it will like it more. All right, guys, we're at the Leopold Uniting Church op shop. Let's go and check it out. And yes, a storm is a brewing. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. Where's the sunshine gone? I think I have. I'm, I'm dragging those storm clouds with me, I think. <laughs> I know I like to think that I'm funny, but you could tell by that laugh that she was just indulging me. I'll have to try something funnier next time. Maybe physical humour. Anything you'd like to look at in there? Not yet, not yet. Okay. One of the things I think I should point out at this op shop, whilst it's nicely laid out, it's a very traditional op shop. There's very good usable items for people who might need them. For the most part, the prices were very fair. For a reseller, I look at it and go, no, there's nothing there. But that, that's a lie. They've got a really big book section and if you just take the time or if you have the time you'd definitely spend time in there scanning the books checking the barcodes and i can guarantee you, you'd be able to start a small business with the items that you found out of just this op shop alone it's a matter of having the patience and time to check things properly not sure about that part <laughs> next That figure you just saw was from uh, one of the Santa Claus figures. Those old doors are cool. They're from back in the day. But yeah, ultimately, I am not going to get that today. And I love my Lego, but no. I bought a whole heap of these a while ago. They sell, they just take a while. A while, a while. See, and this is one of the things, guys, if you're looking, you would have just seen the words ATAR there. That has to do with uh, the Victorian, I don't know if it's all of Australia, but the uh, scoring system to get into university. Should have picked that one up. This stuff's a bit niche, but it goes okay sometimes. <laughs> what? Asian Envy. Shoe Inspector Tori here. Let's have a look at these ones. Yes, no, no, no. 
No way, no. Nah. Don't do it, mate. Don't do it. Put it back. Oh, there's an alarm. There's an alarm. Fire, fire. All right, guys. So this is a while ago. I did a video, just a quick one, about carnival glass. This is another nice little example of it here. See how it shimmers? That's really sweet. Hey guys, I'm not sure if you remember, but another video I showed you carnival glass. This is another really cute example of it. So see how it, the light shimmers? It looks super cool. I don't sell this stuff myself, but I do see why people do. It's attractive. Um, so yeah, this is carnival glass again. Just a really nice example of it. Oh, Daryl. I thought his name was Garfield. Um, so I've got to tell you, this is freaking me out. All right, we're at Drysdale. Sometimes I feel like we are going to the same up shops over and over. That's because uh, you are going to the same up shops over and over, numb nuts. You live in Geelong. Even though we drive for like two or three hours, but they feel the same. G'day, how are you? Good, good. Good lord, what the hell is that thing? It's the stuff of nightmares, that's for sure. Alright, put it back. Oh, look at look at me, I'm Iron Man, Repulsor Blast. That made a satisfying thud. So whilst the search today was not turning up to be that fruitful, I must admit I have found some of the best reselling plush I've ever found in this op shop for $2 a piece and I've resold them for between $40 to $60. That's what I call winning. All the prices are really good here. So, at first glance, there's not a lot of treasure unless you guys are saying it. So, from Moshi Monster, oh, that was their last time I think I came here. I mean, who cares? Not my problem, but. Do you guys mind stopping talking when I'm trying to concentrate on flipping stuff for a profit? I'm just going to have a look at these jeans here. I'm pretty sure I find something decent. We'll find out together in a second. It's like reliving a perfect memory that I can't recall. I know, sir. So. Yep, I don't blame you. I'd hate coming back inside to make sure I wasn't shoplifting too. you need a hand with it at all? I'll get a brick. <laughs> I just about rolled it away. Oh no. Um, sorry, I wasn't I wasn't sure. How much are the jeans on this rack, please? Is there like yeah, a I'll standard price? Up. Um, there's a price at the front. Um, four dollars. Lovely, okay. I don't know enough about jeans, but I know the Levi's are good. I know I didn't make this very clear, but I found a pair of Levi's there for four bucks. Can you guys stop talking? I'm trying to tell everyone I found a four dollar pair of jeans. Yeah. I should flip them out while it's still winter. If yeah, anyone can find them, going, please let me know at GeelongFlipper at gmail.com. Not me. Yeah. 
in Sarandon? Did, some, did someone think it was a drive through service? It <laughs> 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 was a lady. It was a lady. A lady. So did it go into the chemist shop? Uh, you can see the walls sort of... Bet. They would have wanted some Panadol after that. <laughs> These are terrible. I'm going to get them. For some reason, the Bunnings trade stuff tends to do really well, in particular the hoodies. I don't know if you can't just go up to Bunnings and buy them or what the deal is. I can see the big blob. Don't call me that, please. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we just had a lunch at this place, and there's a little robot. Hopefully, the robot brings us food. We got tea, but it's by a human. And um, Alison just asked if these were maggots. <laughs> Hello. Amazing. Um, that spoon is huge. Come on, you good thing. Yeah. Yum. There we go. That looks amazing. And thank you. No, bye. thank you and bye. Bye. All right, guys, we're going to hit up the second chance op shop and give them a say. Oh, kitten. Kitten. Cute. These are cool. I love the fact that I can hear you guys <laughs> giggling. Well, Ali's out. Ali's outside. So try try telling that to her. You know who we had in earlier today? Who? Daniel. Really? Yeah. Daniel the dead. Uh, I ha uh, these are my friends. I haven't seen Daniel I since sort you of thought there must have been before. some connection, Sue. <laughs> I am an absolute sucker for plants and I saw this cutting, I had to grab it. Do you guys care if I steal this and try to grow it? Okay. Awesome. I love that succulents. I just pop it near the car. That's cool. I want to get that growing. It might have a chance. Are you guys gardeners? You'll probably, oh, I don't know. Look, it'll either be dead or it'll be alive. It's, it's like bloody Schrodinger's plant. I can tell you right now, the plant took, it's alive, and it's in my garden right now, and it started flowering again. <laughs> oh, Dan, Dan, Daniel was just in here before, which means, which means there's nothing worth me getting. What did Daniel buy? Did he get anything that I would have wanted? Now, Daniel came and got all our treasures because I said Tori and Alison will be in later this afternoon. God, you're a dead. So you better, <laughs> you better take all the treasures that you have. You're a troublemaker. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think he, I think he left with nothing. Oh. Good. Yeah. Oh, you mean. Well, but it's not good because it means he doesn't think there's anything worth it. <laughs> oh. Hey, Daniel. Oh, my God. So, I'm really pleased to know that you went to the oppie earlier and you came out with nothing. Maybe I stand a chance. No, you find me under um, Geelong Flipper. Geelong Flipper? Yep. Ooh, it's fun. 
I know, and I make the dolphin noises and everything. You do? Yeah, I find a bug and I go. Bah, 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 bah. Oh wow! Oh, Judy has fantastic hair. Looking good. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I don't either because I think I used it incorrectly. I always like going down to the uh, salvos at Drysdale. The staff are really nice to us down there. And one of them in particular takes the time to uh, always say hello. A cheerful experience is a fun experience. Sometimes the thing I like the most about what we do for a living is the relationships that you can make and the friendships that you can build, as well as finding stuff to sell, of course, but it's like you're visiting friends, even though you are actually going to, for want of a better term, these op shops are my suppliers, they're yours too. Um, think of it as they're almost like the wholesaler of your goods. It's a convoluted relationship, but think of it as, you know, you're a big box retailer buying off your supplier, it's no different to what I do, except for the fact that this stuff has been pre-loved. And in some ways that's even cooler. Secondhand stuff rocks. Creepy. I know I enjoy watching Targate. <laughs> Who the hell knows if you enunciated better, maybe we could figure out what you're asking. I'm not finding anything. So we didn't find anything at Salvo's in Drysdale, but that's just life. You don't always find stuff. Now we're about to hit the lifeline, Drysdale again, and that'll be our last stop for the day. It's been it's been a good day. I've had fun. Um, we had a nice lunch, and uh, it's always nice to get out with my lovely lady. Um, but, yeah, in terms of flipping that Caterpillar bag, is amazing and uh, those free uh, Nutella glasses I don't know how they'll go but they're free and they were cool so let's hit this lifeline up and see if it saves the day I think in the whole time I've come here many times I have finally sold a one dollar mug that I bought from here and I got 13 bucks for it recently it was a Darth Vader Star Wars mug so let's go in there anyhow because we're here and you never know you never know what other people may have overlooked or not want. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Fuck me, did anyone else hear that? Hello, how are you? It does, it certainly does. Jesus. I was all excited until I saw the $30 price tag on the NASA top. Maybe they've priced them specially for visiting astronauts. I don't know. $30 for a top was kind of bullshit for a raincoat with a NASA badge on it. Um, this is the first time I've been to this shop since the manager left who I was friendly with. It looks as though someone took a sledgehammer to the place. No, that's just an inside joke, but hopefully the person who hears this knows that I'm talking about them. One of the things that is difficult for the Lifeline shops, at least the one in um, our region in Geelong, there's a centralised warehouse that comes and collects all the donations and then they're sorted at the warehouse as to who should get what. I mean, technically some of these shops do sort out their own donations before the trucks come and pick things up, but as a result, it's the better performing shops that tend to get the better quality stock, but it never really allows the other shops to lift themselves up from being more than a, just a cheerful everyday kind of oppo. I really think the system should be different and maybe just maybe a bit more attention paid to the books books are a great area they tend to be overlooked in the lifeline shops in the local area with the exception of the grovedale store in particular that's got a decent book section but guys just as you know if anyone in the industry um, or the space is watching this books sell just it's a tough thing because people don't want to sort them out they don't want to work them but um sell them cheaper everyone's donating books constantly and so many of them 
heartbreakingly see their way into landfill, not even just for the resellers who would snap them up, but if you sell books for a dollar to two dollars each, they won't end up in the recycle bin, which will be good for the environment. All right, guys, that wraps up another video. If you had fun coming shopping with me, hit the subscribe and like the video, comment if you saw something there that you think I overlooked. Um, thank you so much for your support as always. I'm keen to know your thoughts. If you've got any exciting adventures, please don't hesitate to let me know about them. And if you can think of other things that you might like to see on the channel, that'll be cool too. Uh, I'm going to put some stuff on Facebook Marketplace and see if we can find some interesting collections within the local area, not just for buying but to show and also uh, I'll see if I can't do some deals on Facebook Marketplace and hopefully video them for you. Um, it, my current job, it's a bit hard for me to get out to the garage sales early in the morning, uh, though I would love to, so maybe I'll just go later and see what I miss out on. <laughs> Till next time though, hit that subscribe. Thank you so much. Laters.